you loud and very loud sorry i'm a little nervous trying to break into police headquarters does that get over it bentley you're safe in the van i'm the thief here i've got to steal that file from inspector carmelita fox well count on me to be your eyes and ears buddy got their security system totally scoped to get inside you're gonna have to go through that air vent all right i'm going in and don't forget you got me at the wheel sly all you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. What's going on, everybody? It's Paul here, and uh, I'm playing Sly Cooper. I know a lot of you guys weren't expecting that, but here it is. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were expecting me to do this after the Ratchet and Clank one was over. But I decided, since I'm going off to college soon, I might not have that much time for games as much as I did, so I'm gonna... Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. There we go. This first game, it was pretty good. I really think the second one and the third one, the third game, oh shit. I think the second game and the third game is where it really decided to shine, and the sensitivity on this is crazy. I got this game way back when it came out for the collection and the PS2 games as well when they first came out. There we go, jump on this and this. And guys, I really hope that this game doesn't get overshadowed by Ratchet and Clank are undershadowed and now these are one of the most epic parts of the game where you jump across these tripwires and also I'm doing this mainly because Sly Cooper 4 well Sly 4 is going to be coming out soon and a lot of people are seeing the uh the, the demos and stuff surfacing and this game is just really epic the demos and all that stuff are going to be coming out on the Ratchet and Clank HD collection for the US and right here is a really epic thing Carmelita's Fox's office we're going to jump over here and jump through the window very, very epic. That is like the pinnacle of Psycho Bar. I'm gonna smash everything because I'm bored. You need coins, there's a really good currency system in this game to help you survive. It's kind of like Mario, sort of. Okay, here's the vault. And this is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all of her important fires. I hacked into the police and said, Herrick, I may infer, and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing 937. Is that kind of some some kind of Illuminati police type of thing? That's probably what it is. There we go. And by the way, guys, I'm going for the platinum in every one of these games as well. Also, please remember to leave a rating. I'm not, I know this is the outro, but I just want to make sure that a lot of people are watching this at the same time. I'm kind of nervous about this. And there we go. That's the first fault of many that we've robbed. Heading out here. Oh, crap. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Aha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Now that we have this file, the storyline in Sly Cooper is a lot... Actually, it is pretty dark. It's just as dark as Jack and Daxter. It's darker than Ratchet and Clank for sure. But it was a really, really good story, and it just was accompanied by some friends that he had that he could trust all the way. And this is a really epic part. We gotta jump over these. Police cars. Livecom, by the way. This is Livecom. I know it sounds like I'm commentating. 
So that's the way I do. I have a habit of post commentating over the live commentary when I'm live commentating. Jump into the back of the truck. You can't escape me, raccoon! Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there is no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found... The Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Okay, so... Was a nice this is the main van. They do a lot of talking and dialogue, but I, I can't not talk over everything because that's not going to be a let's play. That's why I kind of stay away from the PS3 games for now because that's what they do. A lot of the voice acting is a big part of the game. Now, he's just teaching us the controls here, so it's not that big. As you can see, there are more areas, but this game was actually pretty short, so we're going to head here. Check this, guy. Check this out, guys, because it's a really good story. Here we go. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as Chief Machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Okay, so right off the bat, we're gonna pull out, and then there we go, learn the ropes, nice trophy. I used to think that we'd have to end up buying the, the next game, like every time one of those cutscenes would appear, because they always say, Sly Cooper in, and I thought the next game would be like, what's the next level, whatever. Hey Sly, I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. So, so. We're going to be going for 100% so we have to collect all of these clues. Now there are going to be vaults scattered throughout every part of this place so every main level shall be cut into, like, into multiple parts and there we go there's another clue. 
really good graphics. They're all in a comic book style. That's why whenever you see the next part, he's gonna be like, it's like we're in. And I didn't understand that because it's like a comic book type of thing. So jump up here. And whenever you see those blue triangle diamond uh, type of looking things, that means that Sly can perform on a type of thief like animation over it. So we're gonna ch let's check up the trees. Sensitivity is very weird on this though. And I can't read. Oh, I got it. Nice. Nothing back here. Okay. Oh, wow. What the hell is up with this? I'm going backwards. Here we go. Up here. And. Yeah, right off the bat, it's a pretty dark and gloomy place. That's the thing about Slugger, but it's a lot more darker and more, a lot more stealthy. I didn't leave anything back there, did I? Nope. Now we're good. Okay, we just uh, jumped over the fence. Hold on, Sly! See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion! You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. The thing I like about this is that Sly Cooper is just doing this to avenge his family. In a way, sometimes being the Avenger, or being the guy that tries to avenge his family is the same thing as getting revenge, I guess. Oh, ninja stars. That reminds me of like South Park. Oh, I'm dead. Coin recycler. I guess that's for 60 coins, seeing as that's the picture. Oh, crap. I'll cut ahead to when I get back there, guys. See you guys then. All right, we're back, and I forgot to mention. Oh, crap. I forgot to mention that there's only a one hit system in this game, pretty much. Unless you get these horseshoes, so it's like kind of like in Super Mario, whenever you get a mushroom, you'll get an extra hit point, and then if you get to the smallest form, you'll die. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. So, he's trying to reassemble the devious raccoonists. And there's two clues right here. I don't want to fall off. Sensitivity just killing me. Oh, shit. But I love this game. I played through it tons of times. I've pretty much done it 100%. If I had the PlayStation 2 version, it would have been platinumed every time. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't care me. Don't care me. 15 out of 20. These clues aren't too hard to find, but after a while, it does. Nice now, right so here, you want to jump and hit the circle the button. Game, the circle button is pretty much the action the button in this game to do anything to be, to anything to be oriented. Button. Jump in so jump and hit the circle button to, button to grab onto hooks. That's like a quote, like a Sly Cooper quote. Just jump and hit the circle button and you'll kill your enemies. Jumping over here. This guy has a hammer, just time your attacks, you'll be good. And then jump through here, here, here. Really cool platforming designs. This is when platformers were at their prime. And then at, when they hit the PS3 and the Xbox 360 dropped, platformers went downhill. Oh, I almost, I keep forgetting. I'm feeling like I'm playing Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Dexter because I think I can take these shots, but I can't. 16, and here's the vault. Now, if you don't have enough clues, as you can see, he's not going to tell you the code. He does not know the code until then, and I don't understand why, but if he doesn't have all 20, he can't decode it. If he has 19, he still can't even do that. So if you miss one clue, then you're practically screwed. Let's just get over here and grab these two. There we go. All 20. And he won't tell you the code over the radio just yet. You gotta go over there to it. And then he's gonna tell you bobble order. <laughs> oh, 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 control to fail. Control back, control back, Let me to believe that the code for this vault is 792. 792? Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 792. There we go, we're done with 1%. Don't worry guys, it'll go along a lot faster. But uh, here we go. Every time you open the vault, you get a new power. So the dive bomb, there you go, there's the trophy. This page teaches all Drake Coopers fast attack dive and press triangle to use it. So by doing this, her, put it away and there you go, leave the trademark emblem thing. And 
dive. There you go. Really cool move. They had a ton of moves throughout the game. Really cool system with it too. I like a few of the moves, especially this one called the slow motion one. That's a spoiler, but it's not too much of it. And let's get this key. This is what we really want to aim for in this game. The keys. There we go. Now with the keys, you can unlock areas like this. And there we go. There's only one lock required for this one, but sooner or later you're going to need three, then maybe five, and then maybe seven. So that's how the gameplay goes. We have to go throughout to um, to all these separate areas. It's like in Crash Bandicoot whenever we went through a portal. It's something like that built into one really cool environment. But uh, this is it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, I know this is just the intro episode, but it's already pretty long, so... Uh, I think I'll see you guys next time. Please remember to leave a like or a rating, whatever you guys think I deserve. And, um, wow, I just walked right into this. Location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your future. That's the cool thing about Sly Cooper, you always feel like you have a UAV over you. That's why it's much more different than Jack and Daxter and uh, uh, Ratchet Clank, because you always have uh, Bentley to accompany you throughout the uh, game like that with the conversations. But I'm going to leave it off here. In the next episode, we're going to be collecting the keys. And uh, yeah, if we can get 100 likes, that would be epic, mainly because if we do that, that means that it's not going to be overshadowed by the Ratchet and Clank, and a lot of you guys wanted to see this. So uh, yeah, see you guys next time.